electric storms out there. And that's all going to be part of this system that's going to bring us some much cooler temperatures across the valley. We'll take a look. The next seven days, we do have a high today of 67. But starting on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we have highs in the low 50s. High on Wednesday, 49 degrees. And that is pretty unseasonable for this time of year. We'll start getting closer to more seasonable temperatures as we go through the rest of the week. But we'll take a live look at Viper Radar right now, what we're looking at. These are those showers that are right now moving across the area. We are seeing a lot of lightning strikes out of this. Don't worry that we aren't really tracking anything severe out of this when it comes to any wind gusts or anything. It's just a pretty electric storm right now, just a lot of thunder and lightning out of this. That is just moving across the area right now. So we are just going to be watching this. It is going to continue on moving its way on east. You'll just hear maybe those rumbles of thunder. This is going to be the more widespread rain that I talked about yesterday in the forecast. That'll make its way on over. This will become more scattered and isolated, more shower-like by the time we're getting through the rest of the day. Temperature is right now outside your door a little bit warmer than that we were seeing this time yesterday. Now getting into the mid to upper 50s. We're already getting to 58 in Lisbon, 56 in Youngstown, 56 up in Stoneboro, 54 up in Bristolville. So for your day planner today, we are going to see those scattered showers. They're going to become more scattered, especially. So if you're in Columbiana County right now, you might be saying, well, I'm not seeing any showers outside my door right now. You will be seeing probably maybe some scattered showers later on. They're just not dipping further south quite yet. So it might be dry outside your door now. It's going to be 60%, I would say, more towards the Trumbull and Mercer County area, becoming more scattered to more like a 40% chance later on this afternoon. I have 67, and we'll walk you through that with Storm Team 27 Future Tracker. We'll walk you through the next couple of days with that. Starting now, we're going to see those storms move through. By about lunch hour, we're going to see temperatures drop in, or rising up into the 60s, and then we're going to see it kind of dry out, become more, again, more isolated, and that's where... Down south, we might see some of those isolated shower pop up. And then as we go through today and into the overnight hours, isolated shower chances possible. We'll still keep mostly cloudy skies through the day. As we go into Monday morning, temperatures dropping pretty quickly. We're going to be into the upper 40s for mid to upper 40s, rather, for your Monday morning to start. We're going to start pretty cool. And we will have those shower chances for tomorrow as well. And over the next five days, we're going to see, as I showed you there with those average temperatures, we're going to dip pretty drastically for those highs. 67 for your high today, dropping into those low 50s. 49 for Wednesday, and our lows are going to be really just hovering in those mid to low 30s in some areas. And that's because if we look at the regional future tracker, we have this stationary front that was going to be moving this warm and cold air through the area and now see this cool air is going to push. That's this cold front. That is what's going to drive this cold air is going to drive into our area, bringing those cooler air chances for us in the area. So looking at the next seven days, we are going to see a warm up. So if you're not a big fan of those cooler air temperatures, we are going to see a warm up. That's the good news for those of you who are not quite ready for the cool November air. Rather, we are going to see much warmer temperatures by next weekend, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures getting back into the 60s by Friday.